Hello again. Uh, it's been a little while since I've uh, recorded my uh, script improvement. I've been kind of working on a couple of other subroutines that have been fighting me, uh, but I think I improved this one a little bit. Um, it's also a whole new, you know, 1.1 has been released. I actually got everything kind of set up sort of in 1.1. Fun, weird glitches. Oh, usually the ground turns black or everything disappears. Um, but yeah, uh, reasons I don't share my 1.1 install stuff because it's, you know, I'm willing to live with those crazy bugs, but not willing to deal with anybody saying, hey, why is this bug? How this bug? Why not this bug? Uh, so let's try my launch script 5. It's still a gory, gross mess. Sometime in the next week or two, I might have a chance to clean it up uh, now that I've got some funky subroutines I want to add to it. Um, well, I have one funky subroutine that promises to become many. Um, so also, this is the first time I'm using it to launch a Titan 2 where I don't think so, Titan 2 with the Gemini payload, where I don't think I've got a 100% chance of failure. So that's very exciting because of the kind of, you know, various real craft that I've tried just thrown at this uh, script. It's the only thing that hasn't succeeded. Um, the, the Titan 2 because it's got pretty tight um, margins, but you know, I've, I'm rebuilding the craft. Maybe I had the wrong tanks or something on it before. Um, but yeah, you, you could you can look back and see how much Delta V it had before I left the ground. Um, but yeah, I did a test a little while ago and it actually made it to orbit, which was awesome. I was just, just testing to see if KOS was working in my um, this current install. Um, this is what the 1230 build, whatever that is. Um, you know, for all I know, there might have been actually there might have been a new one released today. Uh, I don't know, um, but that's the whatever that was the first um, version when 1.1 came out of pre-release. So that's what I'm kind of testing a bunch of RO kind of mods in. No, you can't have them. <laughs> they have issues still. Um, you know, to me they appear relatively minor, but again, you know, we want to iron some of these things out before. Uh, everything goes really and of course uh, really I just copied my um, RVE over you know I just took the new Eve um, because Eve is updated for 1.1 and I just took that I took my old RVE that was working from 1.0.5 uh, just copied that over you know the references I did a little fiddling to because the reference language for Eve is a little different in the configs uh, for its clouds and such, like it uses a cube map, weird things. Um, you know, some of that was successful, some of that was a failure, and none of it really had a huge impact on how well it looked, so really the 1.0.5 uh, copyover was just fine. Uh, but yeah, this, this is the same kind of program underneath the skin. It's still just relying on these ranges of what altitude I'm at, and that's what causes it to trigger, or sorry, what velocity uh, we're going. Um, and that's what triggers us to go through these finishing modes, fin mods. Um, and I just kind of tweaked the names as I was changing them from non con Oh, damn. Oh, come on, come on, did you ignite? Yay! All right. <laughs> I thought that would fail and I'd have to start over again. Um, uh, just, you know, when it hits different velocity, velocity ranges and I tweaked the name as I was converting them over from just like if in this range, pitch up five degrees. If this range, pitch at zero. So I just changed it to continuous functions that kind of fit those same points. So it moves much, much more smoothly, but it's still not intelligent. Notice how, you know, time to apo versus this. Um, you know, if, if I were running this uh, this ship, I would be pitched down to zero right now because this time's, you know, want to match this. But it's not that intelligent. It's just looking at the velocity here and uh, what is our current time to apo? Those are the only two variables uh, that I recall that it that it's using, and it does it you know a not that bad job of getting into orbit with just those parameters. Um, you know, obviously, there's other things I wanted to do, and to do that, I want to feed it good, useful new data uh, that is you know rich and uh, malleable. Uh, so time burn time remaining in stage, you you you'd think that would be easy, but man. Uh, you know, all the respect for Sarbian and other people who make mods that can calculate that, because um, my, uh, my code took quite a few revisions to get it to function mostly okay. Um, I kind of went through a couple of different versions of it. Sometimes it just gets stuck in this crazy bug loop where that I, you know, I just I can't resolve. It seems like it's a stocky bug. Uh, like if basically when I tell KOS code to go look at what fuels are in a stage, you know, obviously I wanted to look at this. In practice, what it sees, it gets this list, um, and so I wanted to catch these fuels. And sometimes, oh, sometimes, 
it catches, it also notices, say, you know, maybe not out oh, here, like these. It would sometimes just count these fields too, uh, as in this stage, and just sometimes it'll do that, and so it would have an inaccurate uh, measurement of the NTO, and so if it got an inaccurate measure of the NTO, um, then it's going to have the wrong idea about the burn time. And, you know, I still need to make a correction for uh, solid rockets because, you know, my estimation of burn time is um, related to how quickly it's burning through fuel, and that changes with the solid fuel. Uh, MechDrep also you know, has a little trouble with that. Um, I want this stayed just a little differently. Um, but uh, yeah, like you know, that that subroutine is coming along. Uh, there's just one th trick I have to change in it because the first time I tried to launch a crude payload with it, um, it it borked, it gig went crazy because I had it watching for you know fuels that are below. Uh, see, here's something kind of wasteful it does right uh, right before finishing off um, that a, a more refined program wouldn't do. So basically, I have it watching for things in this stage that are declining and or you know or really not even declining, really just instantaneous value below ninety some percent. And so with a crude capsule that includes these. And so it'd say, oh yeah, carbon dioxide is our fuel for our rocket, and then just watch that. So I need to tell it to ignore variables that are very low, which. Um, you know, seems like a simple idea in programming, but I am not, uh, you know, not a good or professional programmer. So, uh, wow. And so that actually consumed more fuel than I thought it would. Uh, it really just burned out the whole stage. But look at that. That is a nice, um, consistent, stable orbit. Um, and I'm happy that it could perform. Do, do, do. And there we go. So we have the Titan II Gemini payload in orbit. Nice full mass and everything. Um, yes, I'm quite pleased by that. I'm glad that it was able to do that. Um, uh, but yeah, I, you know that subroutine I'm working on for the burn time, it kind of calcul makes calculations that make it um, like it can likely calculate the stage um, starting thrust to weight ratio, the stage ending thrust to weight ratio, and the delta V delivered by the stage. Uh, all those numbers, very interesting and important, uh, would be very useful for my um, for me to write a program that does this, that is aware of those values. So you know, you know, a couple weeks or a month from now, I might have those integrated. But of course, I do other things, and other video series, and I have other work and things. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm uh, just you know gonna post this program, even though it's still gross and ugly on the inside. Uh, as as Agathorn says, what matters is that it accomplishes what it does. And uh, if you want to modify the code and use it for your, or just use it for your own unmodified, be my guest. That's that's why I post the KOS script, but. Um, you know, it does what it does, and it looks the way it looks, and you know, I'm continuing to uh, refine that when I have the time and interest. So thanks for watching. Uh, goodbye.